What do you reckon? We're only a percent off then. If anyone wants me as a DEFRA president, me and Grumpy, yeah, uh, Grumpy Granddad. <laughs> Sorry, nostril shot. I couldn't have had a cold at the worst time, could I? Loser! This is my happy face. Oh man. Mrs. Farmer was like, Can we put you down? I think you're done. You never underestimate a farmer with a trailer. <laughs> Am I being a little Jesse? I mean, you'd probably say I'm being Jesse and man up. <laughs> I don't feel like getting naked out in the garden. <laughs> Will we ever get combining? That is the question. Try not to reverse into Grumpy Granddad's truck again. Left right in the middle of the freaking yard. I thought they were supposed to be stealthy. But shh. <laughs> Little jerk, jokey jerky. I don't want that falling off on the road. Oh dear, that would be bad. No laughing at me. Hey, Fanlanders. Me and Grumpy Daddy. Or Mr. Grumpy. I'm hurting. I've got man flu. It's official. Onion boys coming round. Our good friends over at Greeny. Look out, lovely evening. Finally got a decent evening, haven't we, Grumpy Granddad? What do you reckon? Right, we need some more decent evenings. It's fit. It's ready to go, is it? It looks fit enough, yeah. All right, you're going 17, 18. I'm going 16, 9. 16, 2. That's not too bad, is it? Good, bright, sunshiny day tomorrow. We don't talk of it. Wow. Right, we're only a percent off then. I still wish they would get rid of that stupid rule saying 16% and we cut under 16 not under 15. If anyone wants me as a DEFRA president, me and Grumpy, yeah, uh, Grumpy Granddad. <laughs> it's fairly. Yeah, it's good and dry. At least we know where we're at tomorrow. If, um, if the sun does come out tomorrow, we might have a get the combine up here at least. Ow! Did I tell you I've got man flu? Grumpy Granddad's laughing. You made the day out, really. <laughs> yeah. I did tell Mrs. Farmer earlier that I'd, I'm surprised like, the doctor didn't want to put me down. Oh, yeah. Right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Penlanders. Still suffering with man flu. Like a good one. I feel hideous. But in the name of science, I've got to carry on. Sorry, nostril shot. Spent all night sweating, shivering. But it nearly got down to temperature and moisture yesterday. 15.8 we worked it out, eh? So we're not too far off. I got some dirt to move this morning. So I gotta go and help a friend out. I couldn't have had a cold at the worst time, could I? Loser! This is my happy face. I'll try and make it today as entertaining as possible, keep you updated on everything I'm doing. But yeah, I'm not going to be a barrel of laughs like I normally am. I think we're going to get end up getting the combine moved to the other field, the other farm. Uh, that was all drilled first, so... Oh man, we are going to get it moved up there. Get the combine moved up to where it needs to be. It's only like a 10 minute trip up the road, but... Uh, if the combine is down at this farm and I want it at the other farm, it makes sense to move it while we've got time, you know? Yeah, we got down to 15.8 yesterday. Why can't we go back to the normal 16% like when we were kids? When I was a kid anyway, it was always 16%. Somebody did say something about fungicide or, or fungus growing in the wheat at 16%, but I don't quite know what that's all about. But I do feel a little bit better now I'm out and about. Uh, a little bit of fresh air might help me out. Mrs. Farmer was like, Can we put you down? I think you're done. Time to go bye bye. Bye night. I got combining today. Oh, I really appreciate it if you go and subscribe today. It really helped cheer me up. Thank you. Hello, Fernandez. I'll probably be dead or better by the time you see this. I finished moving the dirt for one of my landlords. Lee, if you're watching, there was more dirt there than we thought. I said to him, Should we, br <laughs> should we bring a trailer? No, no, you'll never get a trailer in, and uh, you never underestimate a farmer with a trailer. My skills are pretty good at getting trailers in all over the place, so. Just trying to get now what I call the drove back where I used to live. Nobody's been down here with a hedge cut or anything for ages. Oh, dear me. <laughs> so this is my sympathy face. I need my sympathy face. If you're gonna go and subscribe to the channel, it'll really help turn my frown upside down. Oh, man. Am I being a little Jesse? Or uh, am I actually feeling rough? I mean, you'd probably say I'm being Jesse and man up. <laughs> I am gonna go, it's now nine o'clock in the morning. I think I'm gonna go and have a little siesta. Try and make sure I'm fit and able, ready to go combine in a little while. Oh man. Oh, it'd be nice to get on the combine. At least in sitting on a combine, I won't need the air conditioning on. I always find sitting on a combine helps cure a hangover or any kind of ailments you've got. But some of the first few bits of wheat is not gonna take a lot of thrashing out, but just need this sun to stay out. The sun is out in a minute. Very grateful for the sun to stay out. I was gonna get naked and chase the clouds off, but I don't feel like getting naked out in the garden. Plus the garden's right next to the road as well, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go tuck myself into a lemsip and I will see you guys in a very short while. Remember guys, if anyone wants a state-of-the-art awesome uh, bagging line, I've got my mantle wear 
for sale. Anyone wants to come down and have a look at it, feel free, it all works, all good. Stitching line as well, like with a bag clapper, stitcher and everything. Everything there you need. Good. Tuesday morning? Wednesday morning? Wednesday morning? Wednesday morning. I feel a little smidge better today. Uh, good night's sleep last night. Loads of uh, lem sips and whatnot. So I feel a little, uh, a little bit better today. But I'm still sweaty and still clammy and still horrible and still coffee. Will we ever get combining? That is the question. People were going yet again yesterday and we weren't. So they ain't coming down. The, the moisture's not coming down. So try not to reverse into Grumpy Grandma truck again. Left right in the middle of the freaking yard. My head isn't with it. So if anyone hears me repeating myself, tell me. My head's all foggy and fuzzy. <sighs> Oh, I didn't even add any breakfast. I just had a lemon sip this morning and uh, that's, that's helped a little bit, I think. Freedom fighters are flying over this morning. They're keen this morning. Let's get this uh, big Larrington. I've ordered some new latches for the back of this trailer. It's obviously had some on before, but they fell off or they didn't use them anymore. So as soon as the latches turn up for this, well, what I call my muck trailer, as soon as the latches turn up for that, I'll use that instead of my Root King one there. That big Larrington will uh, hold more wheat. It's a bigger trailer. It's a proper grain trailer or a beet trailer, whatever you want to call it. But turning out to be too nice a trailer, really, to use for muck. I know I just got to bite the bullet and say, right, that's it. I am just going to use it for muck and uh, wear it out. Man, them F35s are proper loud. I thought they were supposed to be stealthy. But shh. Do -do 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 -do. You hear one of them coming from miles away. I'm going to put the header on this tractor. I think we might actually get going today. I don't know. Or I might even take the header up to the bee farm now. Yeah, probably granddad changed the lights on it. We had some lights that we bought for our green baby because the lights have all corroded in that. Oh, no, that's a pigeon. But there, if there's a war on, I want them on my side, so. Yeah, Grumpster came out here yesterday and changed and put these uh, fancy dancy uh, new LED lights on the back of the uh, combine. We would have bought them from UTV, but we had them in stock anyway. So Grumpy Grandad went over to the, our local electrical supplier. He went over there not long ago and came back with them. So, well, I say not long ago, it's quite a while ago. It's probably last year sometime. Not like a recent thing. And we still don't put them on the green baby, but Grumpy Grandad was gonna do that. Now we've got to order some more, so. I should probably order some UTV ones since we get on really well with UTV. See if I can get past the combine. Oh, in one, just about. I had to give the combine a little jerk. <laughs> little jerk, jerky jerky. Because it wouldn't clip in properly. Sometimes I uh, put it down on the head of trolley and it doesn't clip in properly. There we go. There we go. I don't want that falling off on the road. Oh dear, that would be bad. Always make sure you twist this up as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go drop this up at Lee Farm in the anticipation that we may get combining today. I'm gonna let the dag clear off and then I'll go and get the field blight sprayed. Some of you are asking how we were getting on with our grading line and I'll show you. I'll give you a quick update on how Grumpster's getting on with that. Oh, let me switch that off. This is all done. Our grumpy granddad had all these motors apart. Look, they were just chattering around. The motors were just chattering around in there making a hole for themselves and having a little party so where the keyway i don't know if you can see on that little tiny keyway where the shaft goes through the center of the gearbox look at the key where the keyway should be it's about three times as big as it should if you can just about see it so all he's done is swap the motors from side to side so the keyway the shaft doesn't go all the way through the gearbox so he has to swap the motors from side to side because the inside oh well, what was what was the outside should look like that look Little tiny keyway like that. Now if I put you back up there, you might be able to see it. Swap them over. So the what was the outside, it's still got a decent keyway in and the, and the worn out bit is on the outside. So simple simple fix to a complicated problem. And then he welded these new plates on because all that was was a, was a bolt hole through there. It was just a bolt hole through there. And obviously that was just, the motor was just chattering backwards and forwards like this all the time. So he's welded them on. So that is all done. I think that's the only thing we've got to do to that. I hope. No laughing at me. I'm hurting. And we'll go over here and have a look at the uh, stitching line. Remember, if anyone wants to buy our mantle wire, I keep saying about it, but I, I just, I can't afford to keep it. So there's no point in me keeping it. It's a mega wire, works a treat. This, the only thing that was wrong with this, or two things that were wrong with this was 
That's broken, which is an easy fix, isn't it? My cousin Oliver. <laughs> and in sticky bit plastic in the ferro liquid bottles. <laughs> he just put some tape over that. And then this was all cable tied up, if you remember, but the bracket's broken off, look. So, Grumps does, he said he's gonna get a new bracket and that just sits up there like that. But if you remember, it was all cable tied up everywhere. <laughs> I do love my cousin, but his uh, engineering skills are a bit questionable sometimes. A new V-track going on here. The bevel gears on the bottom there were all worn out. There's the bevel gears, so uh, Grumps has ordered some new ones of them. He's got them apart. Uh, the V-track was all worn out. If you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a groove in there and it shouldn't be there. So where it was wearing out, obviously the bottom one takes all the weight and you can see it started wearing that out. The groove in there. So all he's done is taken the top, bot that was on the bottom, he's taken that off the bottom and put it on the top. That's a simple fix to a complicated problem. He has tightened all of this up, I do believe. He said he'd done something to tighten something up. So we're just waiting on, we need new V-track for it, which my cousin hopefully is gonna get hold of. That's all worn out. I've never seen one so wafer thin, so worn out. But then I suppose if he's been dragging hard and worn out, then it probably just be keep wearing itself out. Don't know what he's up to with these clamps that go on the end of this, but no doubt he's got, an, he's got a plan with that. And then the dogs in there just need changing. So he said uh, it was a bit more complicated than he first thought, but he was gonna get on it. So you can't actually see the dogs in there. I'm not, those dogs in there, just to see them in, inside there, basically they grab the bag and keep pulling the bag through the stitcher. We've got the dogs, my cousin Ollie had the dogs in the back of the... Um... That's F15, that one. I think the F35s go off and then the F15s go and see if they can find them. See, the combine hasn't been used for two weeks since we last parked it there and got finished with it. And uh, I left the isolator on, so uh, the battery was flat, which was uh, not my smartest decision. I put my drone down somewhere and I can't find that. It can't be far away. It's only a select few places I would have taken it, so. Yeah, and then we'll just get some weight blocks on these tractors and I'll get the header run up leaf farm. I don't know whether to put it in the shed or not, really. I don't know. Gotta hope the combine don't break down. Touch wood. Yeah, fingers crossed the combine all performs faultlessly because otherwise it's going to be a freaking disaster, isn't it? What do you prefer? Do you prefer running a trailer around without a weight block or do you prefer running a tractor with a weight block on the front? Job to know what to do. I think they want like 350, 400 kilos on the front, not 900 on the... Just to stop them bouncing around a little bit when they got a load on, you know? But all these tractors are massive now, aren't they? We'd never even dream of having a 16-ton trailer 20 years ago. And here we are with three of them, really. And it's the same with my cousin, who's Martin, who's got even less land than us. He's got three 16-ton trailers. Well, you know, they seem like the normal size trailer now. That's what I was saying about getting it, getting these 16-ton trailers underneath his um, unloading auger. But I can't wait to use that new Larrington, really, uh, for grain. It's amazing the difference between a, a root crop trailer and a grain trailer at loading when you're on the combine. There's a massive difference. The grain trailers don't seem to spill over the side as easy. Um, so if you're getting it in the wrong place, they're so wide and so tall that you don't need to try that hard if that makes sense. The root trailers, you have to kind of get it full up all the way along to get your load on if that makes sense. See if we can get this out of here without crashing into anything. This um, 25 foot header is a bit of a mission to maneuver around in my yard. I don't know what a bloody 45 foot header in my yard would be like. It'd be chaos, wouldn't it? Wouldn't be, I wouldn't have anywhere to store it. Right. Told you Grumpy Grand Allies running with a weight block on. I do have a pack of weights there. I came off my little 6200 when we had a linkage on that. So I don't know if that little uh, weight block will fit on this lot. I think the linkage is smaller. I might try it in a minute on the uh, 215 and see if it fits. If it fits, I can try and work out if I can put 400 kilos on the front of a tractor. Got it. So it seems like a lot of weight to carry around when you don't actually need it on there, really. You know. Yeah, you're carting an extra ton of weight around. I know, in the grand scheme of things, over 32 ton or whatever it is, 31 ton. It's not that big of a deal, is it, but an extra ton, but I suppose it is. Long. There we go. Yeah, 
we go, we're in. And the latches have all latched in as well. I'll keep the chain on the front there, shall we? One last thing I'm gonna do, put this other Larrington on this tractor, but first I'm gonna jack it up and see if that tractor there jacks it right up. One of these tractors went round and jacked all of the trailers up. It was when Bailey, Bailey washed all the tractors down for me and then he left them all jacked up. But I think it was this tractor that jacked them all up and left them jacked up, so. Right, now all I gotta do is find my other drone. I'll put that down somewhere and I can't remember where I put it. It's in one of the tractors. Silly farmer. Alright, let me get on with this and I'll uh, hopefully next time I turn this camera on we will be combining. Right, me and Grumpy Granddad are gonna go test some wheat. Right, cousin Tom's already up and running in his I think he's got what has he got? 7700? But they got three of them. <laughs> so I got three of them to cover the ground. I uh, just spoke with Cheffins as well, so bought something from Cheffins. We shall see how we get on with it. And uh, when I go and get it, I'll uh, let you know. Yee! You all know what I was after anyway, so we'll see if it's any good. 17.3. All oh, right, okay, yeah. Thomas is like, yeah, we're combining. Yeah, it's like 17.3, my arse. 17.3, nowhere near. It's 2% away still. Come on, sunshine. Just wall to wall sunshine from i don't even care it's 35 degrees from the moment we get up to 11 o'clock at night nice bit of glorious sunshine it'll be lovely for two weeks do you remember the other year august was um shocking wasn't it the weird thing about this uh cold flu whatever uh, i've lost my appetite i just had to like literally force some shreddies into me so if i don't feel any better and i still feel like that tomorrow i'm off to the uh off to the quack 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 right grumpy granddad's taking ages I will turn you on in again when we have a check. Uh, there we go. What did we just get? The, the best one I got there was 17.5%. So I'm going back in the house. Go and put my feet up for another couple of hours. Good. Thursday morning, Fenlanders. Now, I'm going to not try and be too clever today. Uh, we went combining yesterday. I either have COVID or the world's worst cold. So. I very nearly called an ambulance on myself yesterday. I did not feel good at all. I did not feel good. Fingers crossed Anna comes over today and gets loads of awesome footage and tries to hold up the fort for me. Our first field, our first 35 acre field, wasn't as good as I was hoping, but I knew it wasn't gonna be that great anyway. I got some spraying to do first thing this morning, so let's get it done. Yeah, I got some blight spraying to do on the spuds. The wheat yields one too great i knew that field wasn't going to be great anyway but the next field was okay you know averaging about 12 13 ton a hectare it wasn't too bad according to the combine the first field there was averaging like eight ton a hectare uh, eight divided by 2.471 is 3.2 ton an acre and then 12 divided by 2.471 is nearly just under five so if, it, if all my wheat yields average for 12 or 13 ton an acre a hectare uh i won't be too disappointed but yeah that's my two well my 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 one my biggest field is never it's never any good for growing ever any good for growing um wheat i don't know why i think i think it lays wet it just didn't tiller very well it never does tiller very well so i don't know so we're gonna go get the blight spraying done grumpy granddad's gonna go get the combine sorted out uh, it's hell of a dusty crop obviously with all the rain we've had the rain comes down splashes back up and all the straw is covered in in dirt so real dusty straws breaking down real really badly it's not taking a lot of thrashing out at all we were hossing along yesterday really really hossing along i was doing 6k most of the time so and then on the better yielding field i was down to about five and a half k and then 10 o'clock last night, I was down to like four and a half K. So yeah, it's just amazing what the, amazing what a bit of damp can do. Yeah, we're coming down fast. So hopefully I'll get this field out here sprayed and then I'll do hot wild fen tomorrow morning. And uh, hopefully we'll have a cracking day and we'll get started about 10, 11 o'clock time today. So as you all know, I feel it's rubbish. So I'm trying to be awesome. I really am trying. 